Hey guys, it's Michaela today, and we haven't posted on this channel in a little while, so that's why I'm here to make a video for you guys today. Mom and Zoe are sleeping, so I'm a little quiet right now, but today we are going to be filming me catching my hair up. I just took it out of braids, so it's a little crazy. I know what you're thinking, and you're like, Michaela, why is your hair so crazy? But it's a little crazy right now because I just took it out of braids, and I was washing it, but I didn't get time to fully wash it, so you can see there's all this fuzzy stuff still in there and I have to go to a party right now so I really don't have time to rewash it well <laughs> so I'm just gonna catch it up into a bun and hide all the flakies until I can get home and properly wash it so you guys are going to watch me catch it up into a hopefully really good bun slash poof I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a bun or a poof right now help me decide in the comments below So the first thing we always need is lots of moisturizer and uh, so I'm just going to get started right now in spraying it. Be very careful not to spray the camera, mom will kill me. Oh so, there we go. So you guys know that the reason that my hair is probably super flaky is not only because you know that when you take your hair out after having it in braids it's like there's a ton of build up but my hair tends to build up a little more because my scalp gets super flaky if I put in too many products in it. So there we go, all moisturized. <laughs> I actually already moisturized before this video so I don't know why I'm kind of doing this. I guess I'm just doing it for effect. Mm -hmm. Moisturizing. Mm -hmm. Yes, very nice. <laughs> so... Ta-da! Let's say that's moisturized. It's not supposed to look good. It's not done yet. <laughs> Next up. Moisturizer. Real moisturizer, not just water. Water isn't moisturizer. <laughs> Apply medium amount of moisturizer to hand. Oh, whoa, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, you're right. So basically, you just take a little bit and you rub it all around your hands and your fingers so they're all covered in it like that and then you moisturize it like so. I usually just moisturize it like this but then I'll also divide it and moisturize it separately. <laughs> I don't know why my arms look so big on camera. Sometimes I like to make muscles of myself in the mirror. Yeah, I'm weird like that. <laughs> Alright, so... Looks semi-moisturized. I'm gonna divide it and now just moisturize it in twos. And then if that doesn't feel completely moisturized, then I'll do it in fours. Fours. Yeah, fours. Once again, rub over hands and moisturize. Also, if you're wondering the product I'm using right now, it is the Cantu, because I love Cantu products. I use all of my curling cream. It is the leave-in conditioning cream. That's really helpful with my hair because my hair just seems to react to the Cantu ones a lot better. They also react to this one really well, which is the shampoo I use, the um, Lasetta. That's I keep pronouncing it Las T, and I'm like Las Tia. What? And then I was like, no, it's Lasetta. And I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> okay, so this is looking good. See, so I can get my fingers to it, except for the bottoms. There we go. I may have moisturized it before, but I didn't fully detangle it, so it, it's okay, but like, it's nothing special. And then the other side. I always catch up the other side because I'm worried I'm going to get the other side on the side I'm currently working on. This is all just pretty random talk. If you want to, then like, just mute me out and pay attention to my hair, but I just talk a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. So that looks good. This side's looking pretty good. Can I get my hair or my hand my hair completely through my hair? Can I get my hand completely through it? Almost. I think I don't have as much water on this side. Rule number one, make sure you have enough water. So you sprayed it towards the camera, but only through hair. Tons more water. Let's see how this does. Much better. Okay, yeah. That was it, I didn't have enough water. All right, so, also I have hair that's still coming out, because like I said, I just had it in braids, 
So all the dead hair was just in my braids. And I did comb it out a little bit before, but not very well. <laughs> all right, so now let's comb it out. Where's the comb? Oh, it took it out already. I'm super forgetful like that. It has some hair on it, so let's take it off and throw that out. All right, let us begin. So, once again, let us divide it and hold one side like so for taking the comb through. Mom always says to start from the ends and I try to practice that. I also like to hold my hair at the edge when I'm combing through it because it just kills my scalp if I don't. Like, it burns the bed. All right. There we go. Much better. Sometimes you just need to rearrange your hair so that all the knotted ones aren't just clumped together and it's really hard to get to. Or just use your fingers. Sometimes I do finger comb it when I'm in a rush. Only when I'm in a rush. I honestly can't remember the things I've just said in the past five minutes. I'm not forgetful of this. Like honestly, I feel like I'm just yapping yeah, on. I might just do a voiceover on this video if I feel like it's super boring. And then you wouldn't hear this part anyway, so. <laughs> and let me see. This side. So guys, about this party, it's my best friend's birthday. She's so sweet and I've known her for four years. And it's her party. Did I mention that? <laughs> her birthday, so I have four gifts, one for each of the years I've known her, that I hope represents it, or not it, our friendship well. And I hope she likes it a lot, so I'm gonna show it to you guys after this. Also, side note guys, my crush is gonna be there. Well, I don't know if he's really my crush right now, but he was at one point, so. This is really important that the style looks good, guys. It's really important to me. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Where were we? Alright. So let's see. This should be good. I can get it through like that. I can basically get it through anywhere that I'm pulling through. That should be good. And now we have to just go like this and like this and we moisturize. Let's, so last but not least, let's just catch it up into a bun, a little bit of gel. Oh, that actually is not bad. Focus, Michaela. Put it in a bun. I get easily distracted. Okay, so first things first, what I always do is I'll pull it up to where it's sleek and where it's like that at the back. I always do the back first because it's harder to reach. I actually don't have any gel on my hands, but there we go. See how sleek that looks? Then I gotta twist to hold that sides together. Then, oh darn it, I didn't open the gel before I did this. See, what I told you about me being forgetful? Now my hands are super greasy. Got it. Ooh, I love the smell of gel. Okay. So, like I said, from the back. Five hours later. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Just don't want your hair to like invert and some parts are flat and other parts aren't. That's like the worst. Okay, there we go. So I just want it to be like a pineapple like that. But then you take a little bit of gel and probably like your three fingers and then just dab it across your hairline. Dab it all the way around. Dab it, dab it, dab it. That sounds really bad. <laughs> The way that it sounds like I know what I mean but then you just kind of spread it up spread it up cross your hair to chill down the edges and just make sure that it looks really nice and flat and neat and all the way across the back where you gelled some down I 
I did not just break my arm. <laughs> Mom always like Michaela, you need to drink more milk. <laughs> there we go. Alright, now to get a hair tie. That's one thing I don't have. Ta ha! A cute big red one that matches my pants. Alright, let's see. Take this end, wrap it around. Take this side, wrap it around again. Take this side, wrap it more around. Wrap it more and more and more around until it's thin. And then you guys tie it in a bow. If, if you know how to tie it in a bow, two ends. I can't really show you that part because it's in the back, but I can show you how to do it when I'm not trying to catch up my hair. So another time. Then you take a hairpin, you thread it through one end because you've looped the other through the other. If that makes any sense. And then you pin it to your hair. And you're done. You have a cute little bunny bun. Cute little bunny bun, 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 bun. Cute little bunny bun. Poof bun. So guys, if you like this video, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I think that's all the things. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye! Milk, and I'm like, Mom, milk is... Milk, I don't need to drink more of it. And she's like, Michaela, your bones are always so frail. And I'm like, what? I'm a strong person. I don't need no cow's milk.